Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Apollyon playing Assassin's Creed, doing a weekly, weekly uh, quest here. Uh, let me show you guys poisoning the air. So the easiest way you can do it is in go to the arena. It will only take you like two tries to do it. So yeah, uh, let's let's start. Gross. You want. To This is also the easiest way. So if even if you die, you can just just go back in and uh, try again. For those of you about to risk your lives, all you need you is a heavy bladed weapon for this and a poison attacks. <laughs> Uh, the bull rush will count as the poison kill, so it's okay to use it. My builds are uh, fairly based on the fire damage, but still I'm managing and doing pretty good here. I'm gonna do the bull rush. Having a high critical chance and crit critical hit damage does help a lot. Let's just round these guys up and go with the blue rush. There we go, it is critical, so they all die. Uh, you can use your other uh, abilities to take down this guy health so uh, it will be easier to finish him off with the poison attack I'm gonna try the new one now yeah he's dead now so yeah there you go now let's go back and see how many we have left. Uh, yeah, as you can see I already uh, done all the requirement for the other two kill the Spartan soldier with the heavy bladed weapon and the and with the poison attacks so now we all we have to do is kill the Spartan soldier with torches uh, this one will be a bit tricky but yeah I'll show you guys how can you do it uh, fairly easy So yeah, let's go back into the arena and I'll show you how easy you can get the 15 kill with the Gross. torches. You, you just need the, the high arena? critical chance. You uh, you should have more than 50% critical chance and fairly high critical hit damage. And you will 
uh, do this with the breeze so no worries having having a good warrior damage and good critical chance and the critical hit damage is the key here and they don't do that much of a damage to you so it will be easy to use the dodge only so yeah just i'll just show you how is how is it is to just need your dodge Just watch out. Yeah, you, all you need is a critical hit damage on those guys, and they will die. Just watch out for the attacks. Uh, the area is mostly be hard to dodge, but yeah, you can still keep an eye on those white white blocks. Try to avoid getting surrounded by these guys. Uh, they can so yeah, so far so good. There you go guys, I already got it. So as you can as you see it's pretty easy uh, to get this. Now I'm just gonna blow these guys up quickly so I can show you from here. Uh, just hit me in here. This dude will go down pretty easily. So yeah, no need to go stealth or anything for the torchy skill. You can just go head zone kill kill them on and it is much faster in my opinion. So yeah, as you guys see I'm like done already with the quest and it took me only two arena fights to do this with the torch so it's not bad total of four arena fights for poison poison requi requirement and the heavy bladed requirement and two for the uh, torch so overall uh, it was pretty quick I would say and here we go for my builds I'm using the uh, body damage overall. I'll just show my uh, show my stats first. Uh, I, I have 174 percent warrior damage. I'm not into the assassin damage, so it's default 82 percent. I have hunter damage 174 percent, but I'm trying to get more of the warrior damage. Uh, in my opinion, it's much better. Uh, the warrior damage uh, hunter is still fun but you can just use the uh, warrior fire and apply those I'll just show you uh, once you activate this fire it will also apply on your arrow so when you use this arrow it will uh, hit the enemy with the warrior damage as well so you don't need the hunter damage that much you will be applying your uh, warrior damage with your arrows so that's the key here and as for my critical modifiers here it is my default critical chance is only 25.6 percent but while i'm at full health is 52.6 percent same with the critical hit damage my builds are build, uh, built upon the having a full health so at all times so i can do a lot more damage like around 50 percent more uh, 
damage I can do while I'm at full health. And my builds are built upon the fire, and so here it is my fire damage, my fire build up. It's everything is here. And as for my gear, I'm using a spear here with the warrior damage, all damage, fire damage, and critical hit damage. Same with the uh, sword here, my secondary weapon. As for my bow, I am using hunter hunter damage, critical chance, fire damage, and damage while 30 percent damage while full health. Uh, you can get this engraving from a limian line uh, limian uh, line uh, sword. So yeah, I got that set already. So I'm using this spark. It's it's a fantastic one uh, if you can stay on on a full health. As for the helmet here, I am I have 18 percent warrior damage, 7 percent all damage, 20 percent fire damage, and 50 percent critical hit damage. As for the arms, again hunter damage, 35 percent critical damage, and 70 percent critical hit damage while full health. I'm using some warrior damage here because I cannot get any critical chance or anything else. So yeah, I'm going with the warrior damage. With my uh, armor, armor here again hunter damage, critical hit damage, seven percent all damage, and twenty percent hunter damage. I will change this hunter damage pretty soon, but as for as for now, I'm using uh, hunter damage, uh, but I will change it soon to the warrior. For the waist, hunter damage, all damage, critical hit damage, while full health, and uh, again. I'm using the engraving from the Limian light uh, Limian line uh, set. So yeah, with the boots, warrior damage, all damage, critical chance while full health, and fire damage. So as you can see, I'm heavily focused on all damage. Uh, it's applied on every everything you do. So yeah, having a all damage is good. You can do a lot more hunter dam. Uh, uh, damage with your bow your uh, attacks and yeah it goes with everything and it also applying on your critical hit damage so that's it guys hope i uh, hope you like the video uh, so yeah consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one have fun